This is a demonstration of using Hyper Research 450's convert study um, file option to convert a study from Hyper Research 375, for example, to the 40 series or 45 series. Um, what I've done here is I've actually set things up where I've put a uh, hyper research here and I've put an alias to the study that I want to convert here on the desktop to um, help me find it easily. So I found it already and I put an alias here. And so what I do is I launch hyper research 450, I create a new study, and then under the file menu I do convert version 2 to 3 study, which will take a Hyper Research version .hs2 study file and convert it to the .hs4 study file for Hyper Research version 4 files. So, pretty easy. You launch Hyper Research, um, you choose convert version 2 to 3 study, and you create um, the, uh, you find the study that you want just to double check that that's. Um, yeah, if I go to, let me show you, I'm just going to my desktop actually. This is the QDA study alias, so when I click on that, I get to the actual QDA study. And here we are. So I'm going to open that, and Hyper Research tells me it's updating it. And boom! So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and make sure that yes indeed uh, everything is here, it looks hunky-dory, um, my sources list is, is correct. Hyper Research um, needs every single source file you have to be able to update a study, um, to be able to change the uh, ranges that are associated with source material due to a difference in the way that um, text source files are read by Hyper Research version 4. So that's why you need a conversion. So that looks all good and I'll just go ahead and double check if you hear that yes indeed it seems like um, they are actually a reasonable source um, selections, nice and clean paragraphs or um, sentences, uh, uh, selections, and not off kilter too much. That, for example, um, it might have an extra space there and not the period, but that could have been from the original coding. So just look through for anything that looks like it might be out of whack. Um, and if you have any questions, obviously contact ResearchWare Tech Support. We'd be happy to help you. So that's what happens when um, your file is all where it needs to be. So you want to go ahead and save the file. And you want to, for example, I'll put this on the desktop um, again. I'm going to save this as qdastudy.hs4 and save that to the desktop so that you can see it there. Um, obviously you should sa save it with a name and a location where you can easily find it, um, although uh, Hyper Research will also remember where it is um, through the study file. You just ignore all these other things, that's all the testing I've been doing. Um, so that's what happens when um, when the uh, Hyper Research is able to find all of your source files in the location that your study file that you're converting thinks they're in um, and uh, doesn't encounter any errors, that, that's how it, it, it's supposed to go. Um, next, I'll do a video that shows what happens if some of the source files are missing or altered. See you then.